The government of St. Lucia, led by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, and with continuing support from the Republic of China on Taiwan, has successfully carved out a unique economic space exclusively for the development of the island's youth. The, the youth economy was not intended to be the same, the same thing, doing the same thing over. The same situation, uh, uh, many forms, many this and that, many references, it was not considered to be that. It had to be flexible, it had to be agile, and it had to create opportunity for young people. And this, it has a philosophical underpinning. It's, it's not just a place to go and do business. It, it has a philosophy. It's based on an ideology, a philosophy that says that you must create opportunity. That is, that is the philosophy. Following the successful launch of Prime Minister Pierre's pioneering youth economy agency in 2022, St. Lucia and Taiwan have forged another bilateral collaboration to establish the Youth Forum. As we all know, youth economy is a critical and inspiring manifesto pledge of Honorable Prime Minister's late administration to create an economy for the young. And I do believe that our youth may not have equal talents, but should have equal opportunity and environment to grow their talents. I admire Honorable Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre and Honorable Cans Minister Kansom Kasmik, visionary leadership and dedication to the development of youth. St. Lucia hosted 40 Taiwanese youth ambassadors for a series of knowledge and cultural sharing engagements. The reason that we organize this uh, program and uh, make this trip possible is because because we believe that the youth is the future of the country. They shoulder the responsibility of the sustainability of the country. That's why we uh, set the scene for this year as youth innovation, Taiwan and St. Lucia Tech Action. The Youth Forum advances the mandate of the Ministry of Youth Development. It facilitates capacity building initiatives and technical cooperation between St. Lucia and Taiwan on youth development. Our government has been working feverishly to tackle some of the issues of youth unemployment, and we've been successful under the stewardship of Honorable Prime Minister to have one of the biggest, biggest reductions in unemployment in our nation's history as we are currently experiencing. And one of the ways the Prime Minister has identified, and the Ministry of Youth Development and Sport has truly identified uh, of tackling the issues of unemployment is through investing in our nation's youth. In On September 7th, the Youth Economy Agency signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Taiwan Technical Mission to continue exploring opportunities to strengthen cooperation on youth policies.